What's up guys and welcome to this. This is your double title match review for the All Japan Excite Series Night 2 that took place on February the 20th, 2021 on AJPW.TV. I'm here still okay from the SOS Wrestling Network. If you have not done so already, like, comment and smash that subscribe button. Going to be reviewing both the title matches that took place on yesterday morning's show. And in case you haven't, check out the Pro Wrestling Noah Back to Budokan show review that myself and Dion did earlier on this week i think it was a fun show i think you guys will enjoy it uh, but also without just talking and, and shilling other shows on that show we did talk about the idea of covering more japanese pro wrestling um and what we mean is want to cover some all japan some noah ddt dragon gate um pro wrestling freedoms big japan all the big kind of big to really big promotions over in japan and by doing this it's Obviously, we have jobs and we have, you know, real lives. We have yeah, girlfriends, friends, family that we, we've got to see as well. So we f came up with a way of doing this. Now, New Japan, we are always going to review every show from the Road to Tours. We're going to review every show, big show, and we're going to review them in their entirety in full. But for other promotions, we're going to cover the big time title matches so you're going to get the big title matches going to cover big singles matches and obviously when there's big big shows we're going to review the big shows um so i'm going to review both the title matches that took place on yesterday's show um so hopefully you guys have all japan tv hopefully you guys um check these two matches out and i want to apologize that this isn't a full show review <laughs> it's just obviously there's lots of stuff to go to uh, to get through so we're from Nagoya with 419 fans, which was respectable. It was kind of full. Obviously, it's the COVID pandemic era, so it's kind of it is what it is. You got you got to take it and, and be happy with it. Um, but we had the All Asian Tag Team Tile match. We had Purple Hazes, Izanagi and Zeus, the defending champions, taking on Purple Haze again, which is Shigehiro Iri and Yutomoro. This one was a fun one. Um, Izangi and Goose as a goose. I said, sorry, I apologize. It's it's one o two p.m. and believe it or not, I just woke up. Um, I did the Elimination Chamber 2021 preview and predictions video yesterday. That got uploaded. By the time that was all done, you're looking at two a.m. and then I watched this. So you're looking at about three four a.m. I went to bed and I wanted to give myself a lay in and that because I had a day off today. And that's one thing I'm not good at. Mister OK is a grumpy man when he has lay ins. I'm more of a get four or five hours sleep and rock and roll my day. Um, so I apologise if I get any names wrong. <laughs> but they've been champs since 15th of August last year. And the All Asia Tag Team Championships are different to the All Japan World Tag. As these titles have been in uh, are one of the longest title belts in existence. Have one of the longest histories and backstories of it. Um, and these can be defended in multiple promotions. They've been defended in Big Japan within the last few years as well. So they kind of can go anywhere. I would love it if they really took these belts post-pandemic era, obviously, uh, when this COVID stuff's all in the bud, which touch word does happen in the foreseeable future. But get these titles in DDT, get them around in NOAA, kind of really make these titles the Asian championships and defend it all around Asia. That could be really fucking cool. Um, but in this one, it was it was some good stuff in there. I enjoyed um, Shigehiro Iri. I enjoyed watching stuff in, in DDT a while back. Um, and then obviously he's doing stuff here in all Japan, which is good. Um, and I just think he's a really good big man wrestler because he can kind of do a bit of everything. He's got a good character and I do enjoy him. Um, he hit a really nice double tope so a cedar in this one, which again for a guy of his size is, is pretty impressive. Uh, Zeus, he got the hot tag, he cleared house, and oh, I, I really, really enjoyed his triple crown run a few years ago. Um, and it's a shame that he's kind of here in the tag division, but obviously understandable because you know you can't have the same guys on top all the time. Otherwise, you just have Kento Mihara on the top. So I'm glad he's kind of taking a back seat. Obviously, Swarma is the current triple crown champion. He's defending the belt soon, and a review of that match, potentially that show, uh, will be uploaded for your guys' enjoyment. And one thing I took away from this match, uh, the the Purple Haze versus Purple Haze match, was, man, I want to see Eerie versus Zeus in the singles. I really want to see it. I loved that they had some, some stiff Larry exchanges. They had some good false finishes. And in fact, everyone got some good false finishes. Everyone came in. Uh, Zeus with the jackhammer on Utamora got the win. I like the fact they didn't pig, pig, pin <laughs> Shigehiro Eerie, um, as I want that one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I loved post match. They all shook hands and they made love. Uh, obviously, these both both these teams are part of the Purple Haze faction. But yeah, the match itself was solid. I gave it two and three quarters, maybe three, depending on on your mood and your vibe when you're watching it. It was a good, solid big man t 
type tag team match. Not nothing compared compared to like the Violent Giants. Obviously, broke up early in the year. I think it was January third or fourth show, but still, it's, it was it was respectable to to good. And we had the main event of this show. We had the All Japan World Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line. You had Koji Uematu defending against Sima. Uh, Sima, apologies. Uh, this one had a really good big fight feel. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad this was the main event. And I'm glad it wasn't shocking attendance. The worst thing would be them to promote this as the main event, go to the show, and there's like 50 people in the building. That would have been absolutely tragic. But obviously, uh, Shima um, has got great name value, part of the Strong Hearts faction. AW. He was in AEW a couple of years back. He he did some stuff with Christopher Daniels, I think, on the first on the first pay per view, or it was either the first pay per view, or the first Dynamite. It was one of the above. Um, he's done stuff everywhere. Dragon Gate. He's done stuff everywhere. He's a he's a great great talent, um, and I'm a big big fan of Shima. Um, and I hope they invest in Genius this year. You know, there's not a normally there's not a lot of talent in this division. You know, most you know that I'd say two of the other big two promotions in Pro Wrestling now are in, in New Japan. I'm not saying they have a great extent extended junior division because both need some work, but it's kind of like at least they have you know they got their junior tag belts and they've got a division that they can always have matches. But here is kind of like you got Koji Amato used to have Atsuki Aoki before he sadly passed in the terrible 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 uh, motorcycle accident. But there's kind of just like been no one challenging Amato. It's kind of like oh, Amato gets the belt. You know what I mean, and he's, uh, this is, it was, what I did enjoy about this is, with this win for Omoto, he would go, he would go from the 8th most combined title defence up to 6th, taking over Shuji Kondo and Dan Crowfat, so it was kind of heading in, I was like, alright, so we have the, the possibility of Iwamoto working his way up the ranks of title defences, and then you have Shima looking here to win his first All Japan uh, Junior Heavyweight Championship, which is pretty cool. Uh, Iwamoto won his third reign here, which he won back in the Summer Action Series from Susumu Yokosuka, who is a Dragon Gate talent, which again reflects on what, I'm, what I said earlier on, the fact that there's just not much depth in this division. And I hope that's one thing that all promotions in Japan work on this year. New Japan need to work on their tag division. They need to work on their junior division. All Japan need to work on their junior division. And no one need to invest a bit more time into their junior division because I really did enjoy the jun- both the junior heavyweight and the junior tag title matches that took place at the Budokan show on Noah and again cheap plug go check out that show review if you have not done so already and what I love about All Japan and I said this on the Noah show as well when you kind of watch New Japan junior heavyweight wrestling minus the Hiromu Takahashi and show match that took place in the New Beginning show they wrestle that kind of really fast pace style, as in like lots of spots. And you guys know that just in what you expect in a stereotypical cruiserweight match, if you will. But here in All Japan, it's just they wrestle the exact same style as the big men do. They're just smaller. Obviously, the, the pace does pick up and there's some good shit in there. But still, it's just a lot of slower pace. Uh, there's some really good spots in there. There was Ilmat of the Savage DDT on the apron. Uh, Shima with the second rope double knee stomp and a twist in Palkaro for a good near fall. Just back and forth, there was a savage pop-up knee from Uematto. And I just want to say I've missed, because I haven't watched All Japan um, in a while, regularly, full-time. I mean, it's like I said at the top of the show, there's no feasible way for, for me, for Dion, to be able to watch every New Japan show live, every All Japan show live, every Noah, every DDT, every Dragon Gate show live, every bitch. It just wouldn't, it wouldn't be possible to watch them all live or in full. So I, I, I think, and I'm, I'm going to be proud if I can get as much content as I can covering as many different promotions as possible to kind of promote those promotions. Um, but yeah, and one thing I have missed, back to the original point about the All Japan, is the commentary. Uh, the commentator, he makes the near falls so much better when he's there and he's screaming his lungs out. I absolutely loved it. And then Shima versus Stanley Larich at the back of the head gets the win. This is a very fun match. I'm glad Shima got the belt. And people were actually talking about All Japan today, which is a which is a really good thing. Um, it clearly meant a lot to Shima. He celebrated like it meant a lot, so that's always cool. And then post match, you have these guys from the division. You had Hikaru Sato, Akira Francesco, and Black Menzo Ri, and a few others at ringside who are obviously from the junior division. Um, we we know the first defense will be against Izangi. Um, on March the twenty first, and he also talked about bringing T Hawk and El Lindemann to All Japan, and that's fucking great. 
you know, that's really good. Obviously, they were a big part of Wrestle 1 before the doors closed on that promotion, sadly. So it's good to see All Japan kind of steering in the right direction because the kind of narrative right now on social media is that All Japan is a struggling promotion. But from here, you know, I didn't watch the full show, albeit I watched the two big title matches. And I enjoyed them both. I gave this one three and a half. I thought it was really solid. If you gave it more, fair enough. If you gave it less, fair enough. This is all just a personal opinion. I'm just coming on here as a fan and, and giving my honest opinion. But I, I, di- I did enjoy it. I really, really did. And I'm looking forward to covering the other two All Japan shows that are coming up. Whether they'll be in their full entirety or they'll just be the tile matches. That'll literally just depend on the amount of time that I have at that point. Um, but I promise you I'm going to do my best to try and get you guys the best coverage of, of everything. And that includes, you know, WWE as well. I want to cover Raw, NXT, SmackDown, and pay views for you guys as well. Keep Check out the Elimination Chamber review, preview. Just keep on watching and we'll keep on making. Um, we'll be back on, on Monday, I believe. There is a New Japan show that me and Dion are going to be covering. As always, we cover the entirety of every New Japan Pro Wrestling show. With that in mind, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you stay safe, stay well, like, comment, and smash that subscribe button. I have been just waking up LK, so don't hold me against this. This is why I do shows late, late at night, and normally in US time. So stay safe, stay well. Have a great Sunday, and I'll be catching your asses down the line.